Welcome to the Imagining Otherwise Mobile Digital Storytelling Toolkit. Digital storytelling is a tool for personal lived experience to be represented, to be seen and to be acknowledged. Some reasons for making or creating a video is to create awareness, draw attention in your community. Another reason is investigating or asking questions for yourself. And you can also do it for pure experimental. Some ideas that you can use to conceptualize your story is by first clearing your mind and let new ideas come into your head. You can start by thinking what is in your area or you can go browsing on social media that is called doing your research or you can summarize the important information that you need. Ask yourself a question, whose analysis are you representing? This video is a crash course on making videos with your smartphone. We'll be covering the basics of achieving good videos plus some other useful tools. Things to know before you start home. Always shoot in landscape and not in portrait. Use the lens at the back of your phone. It's better quality in your front facing lens. Keep your lens clean. Make sure your phone is charged and that you have enough memory on your phone. How to focus on your smartphone. On your phone, you have an automatic focus. So when filming and you want to focus on a particular subject, press on the subject and the phone will automatically focus on that subject. When filming, we have a variety of options to choose from. We call it friendly. This is a close-up. This is an extreme close-up. Now don't focus too much on the phone. This is a medium shot. This is a wide or long shot. And this is an extra long shot. This is a low angle where the camera is pointed upwards towards a subject. It makes the person appear bigger and more powerful. This is a touch angle where the camera is tilted. It makes the audience feel destabilized, confused, dizzy. This is tracking in or out with your subject. This is a pan left to right. This is a tilt up and down. This video will be teaching you about how to shoot and how to use your props. The first important thing is your location and lighting. Number one, you must first explore your surrounding and try to see it from a different perspective. If you have done that, there's number two, change the position from which you look at it. It's up to you if you're going to shoot this indoors or outdoors, whether you're going to shoot it at night or during the day. Does the location bring any details to your story? That's the first thing that you should think about it. Look at the environment and the work that you're going to do. Then there's exterior shooting. That's when you're going to use the best light of sunrise or sunset, whether you're going to shoot during the day or at night. While you're shooting during the day, there's a harsh light. Probably you must work with your light so that it can help you when you're filming. If you're shooting at night, use an alternative light. For an example, you can use a torch or a candle, anything that brings light to your film. So this video is about costume and color. Costume and color are the two most important elements in filmmaking. We need to think on how to use costume and color as storytelling tools. Color can set feeling, mood, or emotion of a scene. Color draws attention to something. Costumes explore different characters, disguise, or transform. 